This video is about journal entries. Journal entries are made to initially and chronologically record transactions. These are recorded in the book we call journal. It is called the book of original entries. So this is an example of a journal. So para saan to mga columns na to? The first one is for the date. Date kung kailan nangyari yung transaction. The second column is intended for the account titles, what accounts are affected in a particular transaction. Also, the explanation or narration of the transaction. Next one is the reference code. This is usually given pag may chart of accounts. The reference code is simply the account code. Ito yung ginagamit ko is a four column columnar notebook. Pero meron ting two columns lang. So, ang gagamitin lang natin dito is yung two columns. For the first money column is the debit. And the second money column is the credit. So, dito tayo naglalagay ng numerical values. Paano pa tayo naglalagay ng values? Start natin sa right side. This is for the decimal, ones, tens, hundreds, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And yung malaking space sa una is for the millions. Ganon din sa kabila. So, let's start journalizing. The first transaction on January 1, Ms. Ana Reyes invested 100,000 cash and a computer set costing 80,000. Ms. Ana Reyes is the owner. So, sabihin natin na yung business niya is providing accounting services. The date column is on January 1. What happened? So, since there's investment of cash and computer, magkakaroon tayo ng assets. So, we debit cash. Also, debit a computer. So, dalawa yung in-invest niya na assets. The amount of the cash invested is 100,000. So, we put the amount of 100,000. Well, the computer set cost 80,000. So, lalagay natin ulit yung 80,000 sa money column under the debit counterpart nito sa credit side. So, since the owner invested cash and computer, owner investment represents increase in the capital. So, we credit Reyes Capital. The amount will be the total investment. So, 100 plus 80 is 180,000. So, kailangan ng indention to indicate that account is a credit. So, what is the explanation of the transaction? To record that the owner invested in the business. The transaction is on January 2. She bought office furniture costing 30000 and issued a 30-day 10% promissory note to the supplier. Record, we debit an asset which has office furniture amounting to 30000 Also, the problem stated is that she issued a promissory note. So, what is a promissory note? It is a promise to pay. It is much more formal than accounts payable. So, since tayo nag-issued, tayo may payable. So, we credit a liability. We credit the account to be used payable. is a note payable. Notes payable Notes amounting payable to 30,000 as well. So, next transaction. On January 5, Ms. Reyes paid taxes and licenses amounting to 2,000. So, may payment. So, taxes and licenses are expenses of the business. Oh, we forgot to put explanations. So, to record the purchase of office furniture and at the same time, issued a 30-day 10% promissory note. So, let's continue the January 5 transaction. So, in here, we will debit the taxes and licenses expense amounting to 2000 It is a payment so we credit cash to indicate decrease in cash. For the explanation, to record payment of taxes and licenses. So, yung next transaction natin is on January 10. 
rendered services to Mr. Ten for cash amounting to 20000 Since the business is about accounting services, so tuwing may service na render we record a professional fee. So professional fee yung title na gagamitin natin to record an income. So on January 10, we will debit a cash of 20,000 kasi nga nagbayad na yung customer natin in cash amounting to 20,000. So the credit would be a professional fee since accounting services yung business ni owner. Professional fees. So ano yung explanation ng transaction na to? To record the rendered service to the customer, which is si Mr. Tan. Next, on January 12, rendered service to Mr. Lee on account amounting to 30,000. So, on January 12, we record a since on account, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nagbabayad si Mr. Lee, utang pa lang. So, we record a receivables, accounts receivables. We have the right to receive payment. Kasi nga, nagrender na tayo ng service. The amount would be 30000 So, counterpart neto, since we render service, we record a professional fee. So, we record an income when earned. Kailan ba consider na earned kapag na-render na yung service sa customer? So, amount niya ay 30000 So, the explanation of this transaction would be to record the rendered service to Mr. Lee, which is on account. Next, on January 13, Ms. Reyes took 5,000 cash from the business for personal use. So this transaction, there's owner's withdrawal. So on January 15, record tayo ng drawings account. So we debit Reyes drawings amounting to 5,000. The withdrawal of the owner will decrease the equity. So, ang counterpart nito, we credit a cash amounting to 5,000 kasi nag-decrease yung cash natin. So, the explanation would be, owner withdraw cash from the business. So, next is on January 15. So, ano nangyari sa date na to? On January 15, paid salaries due to staff amounting to 10,000. The payment of salaries will create an expense account. So, we debit salaries expense amounting to 10,000. So, ang counterpart neto would be a credit to cash since nagbayad na tayo amounting to 10,000 as well. So, the explanation would be to record payment of salaries due to staffs. Next transaction is on January 20. Collected the account due from Mr. Lee. So, yung tinutukoy na ito is yung nangyari noong January 12. So, noong January 12, nag-record pa lang tayo ng receivables. By January 20, nakakulag na tayo. To record, we will debit cash since nakakulag na tayo amounting to 30000 Ano yung credit niya niyan? Diba noong January 12, meron tayong receivables. So, by January 20, mawawala na yun. So, receivable has a debit balance. So, this time, i-credit natin yung accounts receivables para ma-zero out na siya. So, wala na tayong receivables kasi we already collected yung amount due. Amounting to 30,000. The explanation would be to record the collection of the account due to Mr. Lee. So next naman is on January 21. 
we rendered services to Miss Coffer Cash amounting to 50,000. So in January 21, we record a cash kasi nga nabayaran na ng customer amounting to 50,000. So since service is already rendered, we credit an income account which is professional fees amounting to 50,000 as well. Explanation would be to record rendered service to Miss Ko. Next transaction natin is on January 25. Put office supplies for cash amounting to 1,000. So in January 25, magkakaroon tayo ng asset na office supplies. Amounting to 1,000. So, itong binili natin na to, counterpart niya is credit to cash kasi nga gumasus tayo ng 1,000. So, to record kung ano man yung binili na office supplies. Bought office supplies. So, next transaction natin is on January 28. Collected 10,000 fee from services rendered to Miss Chu. So, another service rendered na naman. So, on January 28, magre-record ulit tayo ng cash kasi nga, nagbayad na si Miss Chu amounting to 10,000. So, ang credit nito is a professional fees, an income account amounting to 10,000 then. So, the explanation would be to record rendered services to Miss Chu. So we're down to our last transaction. On January 30, paid salaries to staff amounting to 10,000. So on January 30, we will record a salaries expense. Salaries expense amounting to 10,000. So, ang kalakip nito, ang partner niya ay credit to cash amounting to 10,000 kasi nagbayad na tayo. Their explanation would be to record payment of salaries due to staff.